our um, program um, conference moderator, Dr. Mohamed Sheikh, uh, chair um, our hosts, Dr. Swana, Swana Chi, and the representative of our chairman, uh, Mr. Jacques Zudan, your excellencies and honorable delegates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. I am pleased to be here with you on this momentous occasion of the 19th International Interministerial Conference South South Cooperation for International Conference on Cooperation and Development, CPD. This meeting comes strategically during the International Conference on Family Planning, ICFP. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, in recognition of the commitments which were made during the Nairobi summit held in 2019, the government of Zimbabwe set up a national task force for cooperation and development, which is a key tool for implementing the commitments with a goal to accelerate the progress towards achieving the desired outcomes. In this regard, you will agree with me that the road to achieving health-related sustainable development goals and in Nairobi commitments by 2030 has not been smooth due to negative impact of the global COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has largely disrupted the global supply chain of essential medicines and equipment. Notwithstanding these drawbacks, Zimbabwe remains focused on its commitment, on its commitments. Pertaining to family planning, the government of Zimbabwe is committed to zero unmet need for family planning, whilst the sexual reproductive health rights must be enjoyed by every citizen, a significant proportion of women and girls face challenges in realizing these rights. Notwithstanding the above, I now urge this conference to consider a holistic approach to family planning, including abstinence that involves both sexes, boys and girls, men and women, and uphold the critical role of the family and the community taking into consideration the sensitive issues of faith. It is important to ensure that these programs are funded equitably, ensuring that none is left behind. Family planning remains a cost-effective reproductive maternal and child health strategic intervention to reduce maternal, neonatal, and child deaths. I am glad to share that Zimbabwe has achieved a reduction in the unmet need for family planning from 14% in 2020 to 10% in 2022 for all age groups. Furthermore, the government of Zimbabwe has ensured a budget line of contraceptive commodities of Zimbabwe dollars 627 million in 2022 and procured contraceptive <laughs> commodities with US 1.5 million. One of our top priorities is to increase the modern contraceptive prevalence rate for all women in Zimbabwe. I am happy to share with you that in 2022, the modern contraceptive prevalence rate for all women stands at 52%, an increase from 50% in 2020. 70% of all health service delivery points have a trained cadre to offer long-acting and reversible contraceptives. 
regarding maternal morbidity and mortality, Zimbabwe is working relentlessly to achieve zero preventive maternal deaths and maternal morbidities. Let me emphasize that no woman should die whilst giving birth to life. Zimbabwe is experiencing a continuous downward trend in maternal mortality rate from 614 in 2014 to 462 deaths per 100,000 live births in 2019. Whereas this remains unacceptably high, it is pleasing that we not to con uh, we, we continue to consolidate the gains that have been realized so far. My ministry is implementing strategies to address the, ca the causes of maternal mortality, which include delay in making decisions to seek health care, delay in assessing health facilities, and delay in getting the appropriate care. In a bid to increase access to delivery health institutions, Zimbabwe has removed the maternity fees in all government health facilities for pregnant women. All pregnant women now deliver free of charge in government health facilities. In addition, all fees related to access to blood and blood products have been removed in public health facilities with the government absorbing all these costs. Currently, we are in the process of upgrading our health facilities and constructing new clinics with theater facilities. Our recently developed National Surgical Obstetric Anesthesia Strategy 2022 to 2025 will guide the retouring of our hospitals to improve provision of quality surgical services. With regards to gender-based violence, Zimbabwe is making a commendable progress towards shifting the negative social, uh, social norms and attitudes that condone gender-based violence, including child and forced marriages. As a government, we are making efforts to improve access to GBV services at all levels. It is concerning that only 30% of sexual violence survivors were able to access medical assistance within 72 hours, the critical time frame for accessing pregnancy, HIV, and other STIs preventive services. The Minister of Health and Child Care is accelerating the training of more service providers in the relevant line ministries health workers, social workers, police, under the victim-friendly unit to improve the timely provision of gender-based services. Indeed, one of the major achievements now resides in our legislative framework, uh, framework which finalized the alignment of laws pertaining to marriages such as the Marriage Act. Thus, to show its commitment to zero gender-based violence, Zimbabwe has increased funding for comprehensive multi-sectoral services for survivors of gender-based violence from Zimbabwe 63 billion to, in 2021 to Zimbabwe 141 billion in 2022. <laughs> Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, let me underscore that in our endeavor to meet the sustainable development goals, Zimbabwe will continue to use a wall of government and wall of society approach to achieve universal health coverage, including family planning and other reproductive health services, leveraging on innovations such as digitalization in healthcare systems. We continue to increase domestic funding for health, learn and share best practices with other countries. All these are key to achieving our international conference on population and development commitments. 
as the famous old saying goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Ladies and gentlemen, South-South and Triangle Cooperation is the best way to go for us. I thank you.